Sziasztok! Üdv a HFV-n, mai meccsünk a magyar válogatott Montenegro elleni összecsapása. A csatorna meccsnapi dokumentáció készítésével foglalkozik bő két éve, főként klubfocival. Járom Európát azzal a célral, hogy a maihoz hasonló szurkolói videókat készítsek, angol nyelven, edukációs célra. A magyar válogatott természetesen nem maradhat ki a buliból, Szerbia ellen is készült tartalom, az első linken találjátok a leírásban. Ahogy számos más válogatott meccsről is, ezeket mind megtaláljátok a Nemzeti 11 lejátszási listán, ahova a leírásban található második link egy kattintással el is vezet benne. Na, csapjunk is bele. Welcome back to HFV everyone. After constant grind and travels around Europe, I'm finally back home to document my beloved national team Hungary. We are up against Montenegro today, Group G of the Euro 2024 qualifications, round 10, the last match day. The country of today's guests is called Crnagora in their native language, which translates as Black Mountain. After Hungary beat Serbia 2-1, both home and away, we only needed two points in the remaining three games to mathematically qualify for the Euros next year. And even though the lads are expected to beat both Lithuania Lithuania and Bulgaria away, we really had to treasure both those 2-2 two -two draws. Especially the one against Bulgaria, where after a moderate performance, we managed to squeeze the equalizer in in the 97th minute by an own goal to take us to the Euros next year in Germany. So we are there. Hungary is there in the Euros next year. The only question remaining for today, can we get top spot in the group? The only way of Montenegro qualifying to the Euros today is them winning and Serbia losing against Bulgaria at home at the same time. The previous game between these two finished nil-nil in Montenegro's capital. Podgorica, let's see about today. We'll head to Hungary's national stadium now, the monumental 67,000 capacity Pushkash Arena, but before that, we'll visit the supporter march as always.
the replay of the goal which qualified us to the Euros next year, 2024, against Bulgaria last minute. It was an after suffering, but we are there. flag, a bit of 50s inspired.
36th minute, Montenegro, the away team, take the lead, and now we could see a small group of their supporters at the long side. No allocated away support to Montenegro because of uh, punishment from the European Federation, I think, UEFA. But yeah, they have some group of people definitely there, and uh, I must say, we played so underrated, such a low energy level, so we definitely deserve to consider some both supporters and the players so far really low level, really below our standards. Absolutely no motivation in this Hungary side in the first half. Montenegro punished that, so credit for them to that. Serbia are leading in the other game, so as for now we are second in the group. And uh, considering the group say draw in the Euros next year, we will really need the first place. So I really hope the guys can put a much better performance on the field in the second half. Let's carry on. <laughs> Montenegro's keeper carries on with the time wasting in the second half. He did that quite a lot in the first. Other players as well, but they genuinely seem to be injured. But now he laid down again. Like this is prime shit house for time wasting. From Montenegro's number one. <laughs> Dobban a magyar szív, győzni fogunk és kész!
scores two in two minutes. I think I'll just summarize these goals after the game because I just want to leave the experience right now. It's crazy. First he dribbles past two defenders. And then he receives the ball on the left side of the penalty box and just puts it away. He can avoid, he can avoid. A one-two pass. He gets it back inside the box. Two minutes after he equalized after a brilliant goal. Number eight of Liverpool. Well, I can't just say that to you. Yeah, we don't need, we don't even need to look. Our keeper saves it. There was 100% chance for Montenegro, but it's safe. We are still in the lead. Hey! Hey! Mother of the Mother of the Hey! Hey! Now we are commemorating a former keeper of the Hungarian national team. He died at a heartbreakingly young age, 32 I believe. Keeper. He's the keeper of my local and favorite club here in Hungary, Ferenc Aros, the green white record champions, and he just made four saves in 10 seconds. Did you see it? This was insane. 60 meters and a half, just at the line of the penalty box. We get a free kick, and we got the best free kick taker in Europe, literally, in our national team. Now, mark my words. This is going to be Soboslai's first hat trick in the Hungarian national team as captain, as number two. By the way, I'm a bit tuned in a vlog on behalf of Mr. Matt.
93rd minute, third minute of additional time, and he comes off straight away. Adam Knight. He plays in the Italian second tier Pisa right now. And after Sobosla, it's not a hat trick for Sobosla, but it's a goal for Knight from the rebound. Our number eight, 3 1 Hungary Montenegro. That's the game for us. It's amazing how he turned this all around in the second half. Captain Dominic Sobosley as we qualified for the Euros and won our group as well. Hi, Fokos. Első sorban szeretnék is szeretnék megköszönetet mondani a csapatnak. Mindig ott álltak mögöttünk, hogy tapsátok meg magatokat. Köszönjük egy olyat, ami felejtetetlen lesz. Az éjjel soha nem érnek régen, Varázsolj nekünk valami szépen, Ne bűnölünk a szeretet literally bouncing this is the most amazing thing what you can experience in your life when your national team has a super, has a ultra culture like this and the so a team with so much heart you know it's it's oh, it's beautiful that's only i can say i love you hungary
and Hungary emerge as the winners of qualification group G. Of course, we'll wait for the group stage draw of the Euros next year from pot two. Our southern neighbor, Serbia, finished second in the group after drawing Bulgaria 2-2 at home. It's incredible to see my country winning this group after we qualified to the previous two European Championships via playoffs. And before that, we didn't even qualify for any tournament for 30 years. Between the 1986 World Cup and the 2016 Euros, Hungary never qualified for anything. That's how I grew up. Oh, we lost again. We are weak. Same old story. We never get anywhere. I started visiting national team games at the age of nine in the old Puskas France Stadium. And now at the age of 23, I can't even put it into words properly how much these performances mean to me, to us, to everyone where the red white green tricolor before we finish this video i have to talk about an incident which happened in the row behind us apparently someone's lit a pyro after our second goal which resulted in coats and someone's hair burning so i'll just hold a little lecture regarding that in my native language no subtitles this time i'm sorry but i'm trying to be quick no so akkor magyarul egy pár másodpercre ég a meccs után kaptam egy üzenetet hogy a mögöttünk lévő sorban valaki begyújtott egy pirót a második magyar gól után ami elég rosszul sült el mivel több ember anyagi és testikát szenvedett valakinek a haja egy része égett le ami azért elég maradandó nyom egy életben. Meghökkentő, hogy ezt egyáltalán magyarázni kell, de a piró az nem játék és felelőtlenül használni iszonyúan veszélyes. Arról nem is beszélve, hogy ez nem egy zászlóhoz vagy egy sárhoz hasonló látványelem, hanem egy olyan eszköz, ami normál esetben az ultrák által szigorúan megszervezett összképhez szolgál. Éppen ezért, hogyha nem értesz hozzá, kérlek ne gyújts be, mivel a fene se akar egy ilyen meccsről testi fájdalmakkal, anyagi károkkal és ilyen élménnyel hazatérni. Ez egy közös ünnep, a lelátó az összetartás helye és az ilyenek több ember napját tönkre vágják, úgyhogy Kérlek szépen legközelebb gondold át, mielőtt begyújtod. Now, back to English. This was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to join our community on the various social media accounts. You can see all possibilities on screen. I was HFV. This was one of Hungary's big sporting celebrations. See you in the next one. Indul az utazás. Csak erre vártál.